Alright ladies and men, good afternoon everybody. Uh, here's a video, a new video about exercise 3 of the combined exercises. Um, they talk about the courtyard of a hotel measured by 10 by 10 meters. Uh, the owner wants to pave a round area of the courtyard um, that's a large, uh, that is as large as possible. Uh, he will plant roses in the areas that remain uh, unpaved. Now, question A is to calculate the area in square meters that will be paved uh, around uh, to one decimal place. So that circle, what you see there, um, is paved. So it uh, we need to calculate the area. Um, it is a circle, so we need to know the area of a circle. And the area of a circle was pi times the radius to the second power. Yeah, so with exercise A, uh, if we know that this measurement is 10 centimeters, the half is the radius, so times five to the second power, and that's it. So the answer here is 78, comma five square meters. Exercise B, how many square meters are left for the roses right to one decimal place? Now, well, the whole um, yard, courtyard, is uh, 10 by 10 meters. Um, so what is left, so the whole courtyard area, courtyard is 10 by 10 meters. It's 100 square meters. So what is left, if we just subtract those two answers, the 78,5 and the uh, 100 um, square meters, so area left is 100 minus 78,5. So that will be 21,5 square meters. So that's left for the roses. Exercise C. Let we just do that. Um, there will be round tables with diameter of 90 centimeters in the courtyard. Uh, they will be covered with tablecloth uh, that hang 10 centimeters over the side. Each tablecloth is cut from the square piece of material uh, in such a way that the, that the least possible amount of material is lost. What are the dimensions of one of the square pieces of material? All right, so um, it's just a uh, round table from 19 centimeters. There you go. And they say that um, the table clothes that hang 10 centimeters uh, over the side, which means that uh, 10 centimeters there, 10 centimeters there, 10 centimeters there, 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 there everywhere. So the cloth, the table cloth, yeah, it looked like a beautiful circle. It needs to be a beautiful circle. But that, that part is 10 centimeters and this part is 10 centimeters. Yeah. So um, they ask you um, with exercise uh, C, what are the dimensions of one of those square pieces of materials? If we make a square of it, we just make the maximum of my circle. So, and because this is 10, this is 19, and that's 10, then the dimensions needs to be 110 centimeters by 110, oh, 110 centimeters. Yeah, so that's the uh, exercise C. Now, exercise D, the tablecloths are finished with the ordinary uh, ornamental borders, uh, how many centimeters of borders are needed for the tablecloth around to one decimal place? So around um, the circle there, there will be an, um, sorry, uh, there will be an ornamental border. Uh, so we need to get the um, circumference of my circle. So exercise D the circumference of my 
circle. Uh, it was pi times the diameter. It was 110 centimeters, so pi times 110 is 345,58 centimeters. I'm sorry, because we need to round in one decimal place, so 345,6 centimeters. Yeah, so uh, that's what we need for the whole uh, tablecloth. Um, and that was exercise um, three in total. All right, so uh, good luck with uh, the rest of the exercises.